Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badruddja, and today we are going to solve the lab number eleven from cross-site scripting vulnerability module. So today we are going to see DOM-based XSS, but within the Angular JS expression. And uh, you can see here the angle brackets and double quotes are HTML encoded. So let's see what's inside this lab. The lab contains a DOM-based cross-site scripting vulnerability in Angular JS expression within the search functionality. Fine. Now they write something about Angular JS. So Angular JS is a popular JavaScript li library which scans the content of HTML nodes containing the ng app. Ng app attribute means this is the Angular JS directive you can see here. So when a directive is added to the HTML code, you can execute JavaScript expression within the double curly braces. So this technique is useful when angle brackets are being encoded and it is already done here. So to solve the lab, perform a cross-site scripting attack that executes an angular JS expression and call the alert function. Fine. So let's go. I'm going to uh, start the lab here. So this is our lab. And as the lab already mentioned about the search functionality, so I'm going to search anything. Let's say cybersec radar and search this. Fine. So once we search this, we can see our string is here. I'm going to inspect. So let's see. The first thing you can see here. Uh, if you expand all these, all these sections and tags of HTML, you will not find here any JavaScript a script tag. Okay, you will not find a script tag here. So, but one thing interesting here, as already mentioned in the lab description, that uh, the ng app directive is mentioned here. That means Angular JS framework is used here. Fine, and the class here you can see ng scope. I also want to see the page source. So if you go and see the page source uh, within the body, you will just find ng app directive. Fine, uh, the class you will not find here uh, within the body ng scope. But here, if you go in the section of inspect, you will find here the class is mentioned ng scope. So before going further, I just want to explain a few things on a very high level overview uh, because that is very, very important. You can solve just solve the lab by uh, seeing the solution and uh, pasting the uh, payload here. There are different sources from where you can get the payload like payload, all the things, hack tricks and too many places you will find the payload uh, to exploit the excesses within the angular js but the things important to understand here the first thing is uh, just wait a moment okay the first thing is mvc the frameworks used uh, what this mvc means so m m stands for model V stands for views and C stands for controllers. Okay, so the application build on this, there will be models, okay, uh, views and the controller. Okay, within the controller, you define how uh, the application behave, you define the features, uh, okay. Uh, the backend programming you defined here in within the controller and you write the methods and you write the business logics in the controller. Fine. So uh, a part of these three model view and controller, there are different services you can create. Uh, the application may uh, contain some APIs. There are too many things. Okay. But the main part here are model view and controller. And if we talk about the Angular JS uh, for this lab, especially, I would like to talk about constructor. Okay, constructors. So, what are constructors? So, constructors are fundamental part of Angular JS and are used to create or initialize all type of Angular JS objects 
uh, that may have services components and directives fine uh, scopes okay these scopes are actually objects in the angular js so these objects basically used to pass the data between the controller between the controller and the view okay so data can be data can be passed with the scopes objects and within this there are different methods fine so a number of methods and properties that can be uh, used within the constructor or controller function and these methods are like uh, too many but few of them i can write here like dollar wash dollar on um dollar avail um, dollar emit this kind of uh, methods are there fine uh, there is one more uh, apply you can use um, and dollar digest i think is there all these methods have different syntaxes different way and different meaning and on different places you can use it they have they all have different uh, and specific functions to perform fine but here in this lab we are going to use and see and try each of these to see whether uh, they can work within the payload or not so we are going to see how we can construct this the first thing in angular js uh, we use double curly braces and within this we can use any of these for this lab purpose so i'm going to say uh, dollar watch dot construct and within this i'm going to call alert function and after that just call this so that means we are calling this one fine so let's see i'm going to take this copy back here and within the search field i'm going to paste that and just search that um nothing works let's see oh sorry because i write here construct only it should be constructor fine so back here paste constructor and send it fine and as you can see the alert function now executed and we solve the lab so that's it for this video i am going to just uh, try different uh, different methods here like instead of watch i am going to use on let's see it works or not uh, wait a moment because again the same mistake here it must be constructor and instead of watch i am using on fine that also works uh let's see now instead of watch i'm going to try apply that's also working okay so similarly uh, let's see digest will work or not will work of course so that's it and i'm going to see you in the next lab if you have any query please put your query in the comment section i will try to respond as soon as possible so I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.